Hi guys, so today I'm going to do my August empties. Now the month of August was very crazy for me. It was the end, it was when we were moving back from my, like my in-laws to here. And so I didn't get to use up a lot of products just because I was just grabbing things on a, while I was packing. I left a few things out and those weren't things I was trying to use up, but I was like, I need to just leave them out. Um, because my husband ended up being able to stay two extra weeks. So I used some of their stuff um, because I wasn't expecting that. So yes, there's not, there's only gonna be one empties video, which some of you may like, but these are my empties. There are some very exciting ones and some very, very sad ones um, that I'm very sad to have gone through, but it's okay, we can always get them again. So the first one is this dry shampoo from Suave. And it says for all hair types, my hair is blonde, so I don't have that issue with um, white residue. So this is it. I used it pretty much all summer because I didn't wash my hair every day, but it's very humid and it very, and you get very sweaty. So instead, I just kind of put some dry shampoo and combed it out, and it works really well. Um, so yeah, I really like this stuff. I don't know if I'd repurchase it because there are other dry shampoos that I'm trying out right now that I actually like better and they seem to work better. Um, this wasn't horrible by any means, but I definitely thought it could have done a little bit better and the ones I'm using now I like better. So I don't think I'll repurchase this. I would recommend it if you're looking for um, a dry shampoo though just to try it out. I feel like dry shampoo is such a personal thing like makeup and beauty in general is but dry shampoo for sure is because hair is just so different and my hair is a little bit different than a lot of people. Um, I do have some Asian in me and that really affects how my hair acts. Um, so yeah fun fact you didn't probably know about me. So there's that. The next thing is a deodorant. Now what do you say about deodorant? This really worked for me. It was the Gov Go Dove Go Fresh Rebalance and was plum and blossom scent. And it smelled so good. I love this scent. That's why I wanted to put it in here. I was like, what do I say about a deodorant? It worked, but the smell was awesome, guys. Would definitely recommend it. I'm definitely gonna have to repurchase it. I do have another one I'm using right now that I don't like very much, but I had to, I didn't have a deodorant and my in-laws had one and so I ended up using theirs. And it works really well, but the smell, nothing can beat the smell for deodorant. It's just amazing and I love it. So, the next things are little samples of shampoo and conditioner and I have the same thing to say about both of them. The first one is the Biology Great Link Shampoo and Conditioner. And the other one is the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Total Care Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. Now both of these I got um, three or four uses out of it so I did get a good idea and I don't wash my hair every day so I was able to really see how well they did. They did pretty well. Like, they were okay. Um, nothing amazing. I don't think I'd repurchase them just because I have lots of shampoos that do the same things that are probably cheaper. And I just like smells better. And these, neither of them, none of them had a great smell. They weren't a horrible smell, but they definitely weren't a great smell. And if they're not going to do anything special, I definitely want them to smell good at least. Um, cause I mean, they cleaned my hair, they did their job. They didn't, you know, leave it greasy. They didn't leave it dry. They did what they needed to do, but I didn't notice a difference in any of them. And I did only have them for, you know, for uses, but still I didn't notice anything. And I've had shampoos that the day I use them, I can definitely tell a difference. Like right when I get out of the shower. Um, that's the same thing with this Neutrogena clean shampoo. Um, it was just a little sample. It was great, it did what it needed to do, it just wasn't wonderful. So I don't think I'll repurchase this either. The next one is a lotion and it is something I got in my birch box, I believe this summer. Um, and it is the Shea, is the Shea Butter Intensive Nurture, it is the Shea Butter Intensive Nurturing Body Balm with Sweet Almond Milk. It just looks like this and if you like the scent of shea and almond, this is right up your alley. It moisturizes amazingly and it's just, it's so great. 
The only thing for me is I don't like the smell of Shea and Almond. I just, I don't like it. I just, so, yeah, I won't repurchase this, but if you like Shea and Almond and you want a moisturizing balm for your body, I would definitely recommend this. It's just, it's fabulous and I love it. So would recommend it for other people, but for me, I won't repurchase it just because of the smell. But the actual product was amazing. The next thing is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. It looks like this. And I really liked it. It was just a clear kind of gel that came out. Um, it did feel a little bit silicone-y, but in general, you can see that I used it all down there. Um, it was great. I think this is like $3, so you can't go wrong with this primer. Um, it didn't last, a, like, it lasted a long time, and it lasted a while, and it was a great primer um, for $3, but there are better primers. If you have really oily skin, I wouldn't recommend this because I feel like you need a more um, long-lasting one. This did last a long time, but I don't have particularly oily skin. In some areas, I have really dry skin. Um... So yeah, I would recommend it, but I feel like if you do have oily skin, this isn't going to fix it. Um, and then I've had, because I knew someone who had oily skin and she said it didn't work for her. So I mean, it's $3. It's not probably going to, hopefully doesn't break your bank um, if you spend $3 on this and it doesn't work for you. But it is worth a try if you want to try it. And for me, it worked, um, but my skin doesn't have too many issues. It has some dry patches and some oily patches, but I just am really careful with my oily patches and know how to kind of treat them besides just this primer. So, yes. The last thing is something I'm so sad is gone. Oh my goodness. It is the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Cleanser for face and eyes. I like this because I could use it in my eyes and my face. Um, I do wash my face um, once or twice. Um, I usually wash my face twice in a night because I'll wash it first to kind of just get the general makeup off and you know as much as I can. Sometimes I'll use a wipe afterwards and then wash my face again. But I love this stuff. It got my makeup off. It was so cleansing. I never had an issue with it. And I would definitely recommend it. I'm going to have to get it. I do have some other face washes that I'm using. But this is just awesome. It's like a face lotion. And I, I can't say enough good things about it. I would definitely recommend it. 100%. But yeah, that is my August empties right here. If you have any questions leave them down below and if you're curious why I'm doing empties is because I am moving in May and I don't know where we're moving yet we could honestly move cross country and it's not out of the question right now um, I'm kind of in the middle of the United States and we could move to either coast north south anywhere um, we could even move two hours away but anyways I didn't want to take all this makeup with me and I found when I moved um, in December because we did move um, in just in our own town in December because our old place did not allow animals so we wanted some animals so when I moved I realized I had so much makeup and so I've been really trying to use it up and try not to buy as many products and use up um, products so when I do pack I don't have to pack as much and then I'm getting the use out of the products that I bought and so yeah that's what I'm trying to do is probably for the next year or so not buy products there I mean once I'm done with lotions or face washes I do go out and buy those things if I need them but I if I have a primer like a face primer for example I'm not going to go out and buy this right away even if I really love it or this dermatological thing that's awesome I'm going to wait until after I've used up all my face washes or my face primers and tried them out um, before I go buy them. And then I just have a list that I have products I'd like to buy or try, um, buy and try. So yeah, let me know down below what you think about that. Um, I've been doing it for about nine months and I've, it's actually worked out really, really well for me. Um, I've been using up a ton of products. You can see my empties down below. It's great, fabulous. I would definitely recommend it if you just kind of feel like I have a lot of products. Just maybe try to do it for a few months, um, maybe even just a month. 
it's kind of like a project pan in a way, but I don't have a certain amount of products in general. I just want to use them up um, and see what I like and what I don't like. And so um, yeah, I get, when I do start buying products, I know exactly what I like because I have all kinds of things to try and I'm so excited that I'm using up products and just kind of decluttering. That's pretty much what it boiled down to is I have so much stuff I needed to declutter. So that's what I did. I decided we're decluttering, but I didn't want to throw anything away because I can't throw things away. So I'm just using them up. So yeah, it's been so fun to experiment and try um, different things because there's one product I didn't like at all. And I tried it different ways and I absolutely am in love with it now. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a great day and a fabulous week. Bye.